Now, a dog previously crowned the world's oldest is now just a regular dog after the Guinness World Record revoked its title. Officials declared there was no proof the Portuguese Mastiff was as old as his owners had claimed. How did they know? Well, our very own Wagatha Christie. There you see, I knew I was going to get that joke in. I was desperate to get that joke in. Uh, Courtney Bembridge is here with us. And Courtney, tell me a little bit more about the story. So, yes, this is Bobby. And he became famous last year when he was crowned the world's oldest dog. And we can bring pictures pictures are up to show Let's you show Bobby at the, the time. Can you see pictures of the dog? So Bobby had a, a fantastic birthday party when he turned 31. You can, can we see take him strap there. Off as well, please. Thank you. So, so Bobby there had a big birthday party. He, he turned 31 um, and he was crowned by the Guinness Book of World Records, the oldest dog. And his owners said that it was down to his lifestyle that he had a very outdoorsy living in a rural village in Portugal uh, and he ate only human food. Um, and I want to play you a little of what his owner said at the time he was crowned. It's a feeling of pride that we can't explain. In the family, we knew that many people told us we wouldn't make it, that Guinness would ask for money, that it was only for people Guinness knew. But we knew Bobby's age, and we were sure that the examinations would only prove what we already knew. And that was the case. How do they prove it? Well, pictures emerged showing him in 1999, and if you have a look at them, his paws there are white. And we're going to now swap to the most recent picture of him, brown paws. That was part of his undoing, but also there was this information from vets that 31 is implausible. It would have been like humans being 200 years old. That is a long, long life. Poor Bobby, I feel so bad for him. Oh, well. And who is the oldest dog now, do you know? An Australian cattle dog named Bluey, born in 1939. Courtney, that is very good news for you especially. Thank you very much indeed, Courtney Bembridge.